Alice Wolf Theodore Macklin was arrested for assault during some sort of altercation. Reports show Macklin punched another man. Today, he still faces those charges. And now Macklin is running for re-election for his constable position, and voters don't seem to mind his pending charge. He won the Democratic nomination in the March primaries and will go on to face his Republican opponent in November. Local 2's Lupe Zapata spoke with the man who says Macklin punched him in the face, leading to the arrest. Will be joining us live with what the victim had to say about his name appearing on the November ballot. Loopy? Steve Swanford tells me he's shocked that the constable is still able to be on the ballot, even though he has an ongoing criminal investigation. It really bothered me that he actually re-ran for constable. Almost two years ago, Steve Swanka says he was assaulted with a punch to the face from Precinct 3 Constable Ted Rooster Macklin, a man who was on the November ballot trying to keep his elected position. Swanka tells me he took legal action after Macklin repeatedly hit him in 2014, accusing Swanka of hurting Macklin's daughter. I press charges because a man like that does not belong in a constable's uniform. A year after the arrest, Midland County clerk confirms charges are still pending with a pre-trial date set for Friday. I'm just glad that some kind of justice is going to be done. He may walk out of there with a slap on the hand, but at least he's going to have to answer for what he's done to someone that didn't deserve to be wronged. I'm told that Macklin's pre-trial hearing is set for tomorrow at 10 a.m., where those assault charges will be examined by the judge and special prosecutor on the case. Reporting live in the studio, Lupi Sabata, Local 2 News. Okay, Lupi, thanks for that. This is a story Local 2 News will continue to follow. For all the latest updates, be sure to head to our website, yourbasement.com. Across Texas, click on the ticket.